Hey, this is Bert from Bird and Bird Gaming, and I'm going through Action Hank, World 1. I got all the gold medals. See, that's Action Hank. He's like a uh, washed-up old old uh, action figure. He's trying to reclaim his former glory from that that uh, snidely whiplash-like dude named um, Dr. Kentoli. And this is level 1. Hello, world. So, Action Hank is a little ch challenging. But it has very basic controls. You can slide, you can jump, and you're always running. However, the challenge is very tight, and it's all about the timing, and if you miss the timing, you miss the medal. Now we're on level 2, Butt Slide Basics. And the thing about the butt slide, it's what you use to build up speed, to build up your momentum. And it only works on downward slopes. Otherwise, you could end up slowing yourself down. So, it's a double-edged sword. Moving on to level 3. The Loop of Destiny. Each uh, level is pretty cleverly named, if you ask me. I really dig the level design in this. And it really pushes you to your uh, limits. Oh, that's that loop right there. Yeah, you just butt slide on that whole thing and you go really fast. And now we're on level 1-4. Back to back. And here we're going through a pretty zany area. Um, you jump right there or so to uh, make sure you don't lose any uh, speed. Because the thing about this game is you want to go as fast as possible. You want to reach maximum speed. Because it's all about beating the clock. Level 1-4. Ah, hot lava. Hot floor. Um... Yeah, this I like this the uh, gimmick of a childhood room or something. Like it's like a room from your childhood, and it's got and it has like aspects of childhood implemented into the level. Like if you look right, th like look uh, seconds before we were like under a bed and it got all spooky under di under there. It's like the uh, rumors about a monster being underneath your bed or something like that, and also how we used to pretend that that the floor would be hot lava. That, that kind of simple game. This is Betsy's challenge right here. If you beat this level, you uh, unlock this character named Betsy, who's always um, running around with uh, dumbbells in her arms. And this is the challenge that you have to beat in order to get um, Hank's uh, swan costume. You have to collect all the uh, coins within time, and you do that by planning out a a path and going through one singular motion and collecting all the coins. And that's about it. 